On a Wednesday morning, a group of Fort Vancouver High School students meet to talk about their role as ambassadors. Basically, the representatives who will, among other things, show visitors the school's many programs and features. It's important to make people feel comfortable and welcome and let them know that uh, Fort's a good place to be, a good place to learn. Fort's newest program starts next year, and it's a big one. Fort will become a Center for International Studies, part of the Asia Society's International Studies Schools Network. It's a way for Fort to take advantage of one of its biggest strengths. Our school is already incredibly diverse. Um, you know, all of us, are, a lot of us are from different countries, speak different languages. I think simply in this school itself, there has been a lot of global competency preparation. And so I think taking the next step of being an international school, it's definitely going to increase that. You heard Austin mention global competency, which is a big part of the program. So what is that? To me, global competency is just simply being prepared for whatever the world has in store, whether it's, you know, whatever job you go to or whatever college you go to, the idea of interacting with other cultures in an appropriate and respectful way and just, you know, being able to learn from different cultures and build from different cultures as well. The spirit of cooperation blends well with Fort's Trapper 10, a set of behavior expectations posted in the cafeteria. We're about respect. We follow the Trapper 10 every day. It's just different things like holding the door open and like, being kind to others, and um, being a good role model for other people. Another major component of being an international school is a shift in academics. Students will be pushed to not only learn, but to better demonstrate what they've learned. They are doing more projects, more interdisciplinary lessons between their teachers, so in, whether it's in math or in science or in arts. Um, how are you having those opportunities to investigate the world? How are you learning how to recognize perspectives? How are you communicating our ideas and how are you taking action? As part of the international focus, students will be encouraged to travel. Staff is ready to counsel them on how to find scholarships or other funding sources. The goal is for each student to leave Fort with a broader perspective on the world than your average graduate. Well, the international studies is to help um, create uh, not only students, but create citizens that are going to be ready for not only college but, and life and their future careers they might have in the future. It's not just your transcript, but how can they speak to when they're writing those college entrance essays or if they're applying for a job where they can talk about experiences that they might not have other places. For Inside Vancouver Public Schools, I'm Amanda Richter. Thanks, Amanda. The Asia Society is a nonprofit organization and was started in 1956 by John D. Rockefeller to increase education and cooperation between the U.S. and Asia. It has since spread across the world. To learn more, go to asiasociety.org.